how do we communicate climate change education to kids or the issues around climate change to kids? And so we sought to do that in a way that presented a positive message. Um, so we did three things. One, we wanted to talk about what is the science that we know? What do we know? How do we know that carbon is increasing and is causing a rise in temperatures? Then, what do we do about it? And so there we activated a, a series of programs for the kids to come in and not only think about what the science is, but also what they could personally do or maybe encourage their parents to do. And I think a lot of um, the environmental uh, and climate change education programs sort of seek to do similar things. Uh, cool the Earth is another one, Alliance for Climate Education, a third, there's many. And I think, you know, at the heart of it all, it's around how do we give our kids a positive uh, vision of the future? Because if we just talk about, you know, apocalypse and hopelessness and pointlessness, uh, it's easy to give up. But I think there's a lot to be hopeful about and positive about. And I know that's the energy that Bill brings to it. Um, and as you probably saw in the press, he continues to fight uh, this fight, uh, even with some political figures in our uh, national leadership. And um, so bottom line, it's communicating a message about and empowering the kids. I think that's the other part, so that they can feel empowered to do something, that they don't feel powerless, and that also that they, they become then uh, advocates within their own family, within their own school. We were having conversations earlier about some great work, some of the high school kids you're gonna hear from, the work they're doing in their schools. Um, so I'm actually very optimistic that uh, our youth are in the vanguard of this movement. Mm -hmm.